Today, I want to get the solar panels fitted, which means we need to get these roof rails mounted onto the top of the roof, get all my attachments on, and then get all three solar panels on. The way it works is we've got these T bolts, which are going to fit into the uni strut and then be bolted on. This is the little T bolt on the roof of the van. Before I can put the solar panels on, I've got to mount the roof rails. And to do that, this is the kit I've put together. What I want to do is slot the T bolt in here, slide it down and then rotate it to lock it in. This rail clip will slide in over and this will push against the bolt and pull the metal apart and this will leave it nice and tight. For our solar panels, we've gone for the boys at Craig Solar. Is they do a 1500 solar panel, which fits perfectly between the two rails. So that way we won't have any overhang and it will be a bit more stealth. We've gone for three 300 watt solar panels, which should give us 900 watts of power. I've gone for monocrystalline, which is better for cloudy weather, which we're going to have a lot of if we're traveling around the UK, Wales, Scotland. As soon as my dad's home, we'll try and get these on the roof and then I can start wiring them up. We're getting about 33 volts at the moment with no sunshine at all. We managed to get the one panel on for now. Didn't go great. We had a bit of a problem with the rail being too narrow. So we had to extend it and make it 1500 exactly. But we've got the one on, which looks good. We'll see you again tomorrow. Dad? Joe. Hi. Can we just chuck one up there? Yeah, we do what you want. All right, we'll just do one quickly before you go. So we got one panel on yesterday, and now we're going to see if we can get the other two on by the end of the weekend. It didn't go as well as I wanted. Two solar panels up, fully wired in. Spent a lot of time just working on the electrical. Where I got stuck is we need to fit a gland and then Sikaflex it on, feed our wires through, and I can't see a good place to put it. It's not a lot of work, but it seems to take a whole morning just to get one panel up. And we're about to have a thunderstorm now, so we're gonna have to leave it for this weekend. We'll try again next week. Joe's had to stop because it's thundering and lightning, um, so we probably shouldn't be putting electrical things up on the roof of the van. Although I would like to hear the sound of the rain on the roof, I think that would be really relaxing. We could go and look and see if it's leaked at all. But, you hear the thunder. And yeah, I guess we're going to have a day at home because we can't do anything whilst it's this wet. Look at the state of that. There's bits of metal folded out everywhere. There's filings. I'm gonna see if I can fix it with the file. Say hello to them. How you doing? Is that for the wires from the solar panel? Yep, and that's where these PV wires will go. I can't see that high up. <laughs> now that the paint's dried, we're gonna feed the cables through the cable gland and then stick a flex it on. Ready. Should we attach a ladder to the side? Oh my God, it's ridiculously hot up here. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Bye. 
And it's a boy. You all right, Abba? Making a lot of noise. Longer ladder. I need one more step. Mm. Done? Finished. Are they secured? No. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you might want to do that. So I've wired up the solar. It looks like we're getting about 33 volts, which is just right. And next is to put on the MPPT and see what the amps are saying. Our solar's coming in from the roof, going into our fuse, which goes straight into the MPPT. And at the moment, I've got that hooked up to the van battery. I think we can call that a success. We're managing to put nine amps into the van battery, which is just because the van's almost fully charged. And that's all coming from the solar panels above. Although they're not 99p anymore, they're £2.50. This is the CAC tank kit. We've got a 50 litre wastewater tank and a 66 litre freshwater tank. So we need to go f up from there. So we've got one tank up and nearly the other one. 